Hey everyone, it's Ariel. Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how I curl my hair with a flat iron. I always like to do this when my hair has been straight for a few days after it starts to just lose its initial shine and like sleekness just starts to look not as good. So today I thought it would be perfect to show you guys how I do that. Before we get into the video though, I wanted to just say thank you. I reached a thousand subscribers. I'm so excited. I honestly can't believe that a thousand people have subscribed to my channel to see more of my videos. It's just crazy, but I'm so excited. And I just want to say thank you to all of you that are subscribed and also all of you that have been liking and commenting on all my videos. I see you. I appreciate you so much. So thank you. But anyway, let's get right into today's video. So this is my flat iron here. This is the Paul Mitchell Neuro flat iron and it's a one inch flat iron. I absolutely love this flat iron. It's actually perfect for curling your hair because it has such a rounded edge to it. So I really love it for that. I have it set at 350 right now because I want it to be hot enough that it can actually put a curl into my hair, but I don't want it to be too hot because my hair is already straight and I don't want to cause any more damage. So I think 350 should be a good temperature. So the first thing I always do is section my hair. The first section I'm going to take is kind of right at the bottom of my earlobe. This section should be about one inch in length, which is perfect. You want to try to make sure your sections are about the same size as your flat iron. So since mine is one inch, a one inch section should be perfect. Now I'm just going to tie this up. So now that I have that one inch section, I'm splitting that section in the middle. So I have two smaller sections to work with. It'll be kind of hard to show you guys at the back what I'm doing, but I'll try my best. Okay, so I'm taking my section here. I'm taking my flat iron and so my thumb is facing me. My knuckles are facing you or the mirror in your case. And I'm going to hold it upright or kind of, I guess kind of at a 45 degree angle or somewhere between upright and a 45 degree angle. How about that? <laughs> and so this is going to go really quick, but I'll try to show you guys. So I'm twirling the flat iron immediately and then just pulling it all the way through. And now I have a little curl and that should be perfect. And I'm just going to do the same thing on this side. And I'm also curling these pieces away from my face. I like to curl most of the pieces away from my face just because it is usually the most flattering. There we have it. Since my hair is so short, this is kind of more of just a flip, I guess, <laughs> but that should be perfect for now. So then I'm gonna move on to the next section. Again, try to aim for about a one inch section or if you're using a bigger flat iron, go with a slightly bigger section, but not too big. So I'm gonna go now at the top of my ear and then just section that away. So now we have this next section to work with. So this one is actually big enough where I think I can split it into three. So one on each side and then one in the middle, if that makes sense. So like that. Let's start on this side now. You also wanna make sure there are no tangles in your hair, so I'm just gonna brush through this section a little bit just to make sure. I did brush through my hair before I started filming, but just in case. So now, same thing. So putting my flat iron up, but kind of at a 45 degree angle. Let's try not to burn myself. Right now it's not clamped on there, by the way. You don't wanna leave it sitting on your hair at all, ever, because you're gonna burn your hair. We don't want that. So putting it in and now I'm going to clamp down. Oh, also I'm going in at probably an inch and a half or so from my root because I don't want to go right up. I don't want to start the curl too close to my root. So I'm leaving just a little gap from where I'm starting. So I'm starting about there, clamp down and then immediately twist, but keep your flat iron moving and just drag it all the way down to the end. And then once I've got the flat iron out, I always like to reinforce the curl a little bit with my finger and then just let it sit. We don't want to touch it too much after it's been curled. We want to let it set in that curl. So leave that one and then move on to the next one. So this middle section right here. For this one, I'm going to 
By the way, I can't see what I'm doing at all right now. I'm just trying my best here, guys. So I'm gonna turn it this way. Go from there. Reinforce it. And that feels like it got curled. And now this last section, flat iron in about an inch or an inch and a half from the root. Immediately start twirling. And again, going away from my face. Pull it all the way down and then let go and then just reinforce it with your finger and let it sit like that. So now I'm basically just doing that all the way out my head. You guys will be able to see a little bit better once I get further up. Now I'm going to take about the top of my eyebrow. That's where I'm going to do my next section and then just tie this away. So this is where you guys will really be able to see what I'm doing. So that's about the size of section you want to do. The bigger your section, the looser the curls will be, but also the harder it'll be to keep all of that hair in and to actually get all the pieces curled. So just keep that in mind when you're sectioning. So just going in about an inch from the root, clamp down and twirl right away, away from your face, pull down. And for this part, I'm just going to let go a little bit before I get to the end. Then as you can see, that end is left straight, which will give me more of a soft, naturally wavy kind of look instead of being curled right up to the root and a little bit more bouncy looking. That looks good too, but it's not really the look I'm going for today. I'm going for more of a natural, like beachy curl, I guess. So I just want to leave the ends straight like that. So I'm actually going to take a slightly smaller section now. Not too small, but a little bit smaller than that first one. And this one is going to go in the opposite direction. So like I said, a lot of the pieces will be going away from my face because that's what's most flattering. But then every odd one I like to do towards my face so that at the end they're not all clumped together and you get more of that natural look versus it being all perfectly curled. So this one, same idea, about an inch from the root, clamp down and twirl. And I use both hands for this, so don't be afraid. Pull down, leave a little bit of an end about there and let go. Reinforce with your finger and let it sit. So again, I have that nice straight end. That's exactly what we want. And just moving on through the rest of these sections. Now I can take a bigger section again, about the same size as this one here. And then I'm gonna go back to away from my face. Like that. Also, another tip is if you have some pieces like I do that are curling up at the root, which I guess this is only if you have natural curls, but if that's your case, you can always use your flat iron to smooth out those pieces first before you go in and curl. So basically you can flat iron and curl at the same time, which I love about using a flat iron to curl because it's kind of like a multi-purpose tool. So I'm going to go in like this, smooth out that root part a little bit. And now it's not perfect, but it is a little bit more smoothed out and it'll get me just a little bit more of a polished look at the end. This section, I'm gonna go this way, reinforce, and let it go. I'm gonna switch and go back to the front now. So this one will be away from my face. This is usually where it comes the most in handy, that little trick I just showed you guys, to flat iron before you curl. So I can go in all these little frizzy guys. Just smooth those out before I put that curl in. That looks good. So about there, do your twirl, but one loop. Come down, leave a little bit of that end out. And let it go. If it feels a little bit too curly for you or too bounced up and you're not really liking how it's looking, although this isn't gonna be the finished look, of course. <laughs> but if it's feeling a little bit too curly, you can pull on it afterwards and that'll help it set in a little bit more of a relaxed state. 
So you can play around and just figure out what you like best, depending on what look you're going for. I should have probably done that one towards my face, but I'll just do this one instead. So what I'm going towards my face, like I said in the beginning, my thumb was facing me and my knuckles were facing in front of me, but that was to do away from the face. So when I'm doing it towards the face, I'm coming the opposite way. So my thumb is now facing front and my knuckles are facing me. So going in like this, and it'll depend which strand you're working on, the angle that you have to use, but that'll kind of help you get the angles down when you're just getting started. So now I have all those sections done. It's looking a little bit crazy, but I promise this is not the finished look. Stay tuned, don't leave now. Okay, so probably two more sections left. So this one, I'm gonna go basically in half of what I have now, so it looks like about there. And just tie that away. For this section, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna take a diagonal section and I'm gonna take it a little bit bigger than I did the last one. So sort of, sort of like that. And I'm gonna do this one away from my face and then I'm gonna take this underneath diagonal section towards my face so that when they lay down, this one is kind of over top of that one and they should just create a nice natural effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So this one's away from my face. Leave that end out and reinforce it with your finger. It's a little bit too bouncy, so I'm just gonna tug on it. So now, like I was saying, take that diagonal section and this one is gonna go towards my face. So thumb facing in front, knuckles facing towards yourself. And just do it the opposite way towards your face. Reinforce it and let it go. And basically just going around doing this exact same thing around my whole head. This is actually the first time I'm curling my hair now that it's short. Like I haven't tried this at all since I cut my hair. So you're seeing it here first. <laughs> Also, once I get to the back of one side, I like to kind of stop there and then go back to the front because that's where I can see which direction I want the curls to go. And if I start at the back, I might start there and end up being here and then realize I wanted to do this one that way and this one that way. So it just works better if you start at, this, at the front where it's gonna be more visible. So now I'm gonna switch to the front of this side. And I'll do that same diagonal section that I did on the other side. Sort of like that. For this one will be away from my face. Do your twirl and pull down. So you gotta be careful your ends are not gonna fall out of your flat iron like mine almost did. Also, this is a good example of how it doesn't always turn out perfect. So you can go over it a second time if you need to. It doesn't always come out perfect on the first try, but that's okay. Just recurling it a little bit. And it's not perfect, but that should do it. Have about two more sections here. So first one is that one going towards my face. Like so. And this one I'm gonna do away from my face. And if you have really stubborn hair, you find that your hair doesn't hold the curls very well, you can use hairspray after you're done curling each section. So once you take down that section and curl it all, you can just give it a good spray all around and then move on to your next section. That'll help it set a little bit more. I don't really find myself to need hairspray, so I'm not gonna do that, but it is an option if you find your hair doesn't hold well. This here is my last section. So this one I always try the hardest on because this is the one that's the most visible, of course. So, you know what, we might have to split this into just one more, just on the bang side because it's obviously thicker, something like that. And then I'm actually gonna take a clip and just clip that to the other side. Just realized I haven't been brushing each section, but that's okay. 
just pretend there was. Okay, so pull it down. You can hold your ends out if you're finding they're falling out. Just leave that little end out. And let it go. You can also do this to straighten out a curl that got a little bit too curly. Just be careful because you don't want to ruin the whole curl. Like I kind of just did. <laughs> it's okay. So now this one's going to go... I'm actually going to do this one away from my face as well. Because now I've got a whole row that's going towards my face here. So these ones might end up clumping together. So to keep it all separate, I'm just going to do two away from my face for this section. Twirl it. Leave that end out. Probably do one more and then move to the other side. So this one is going to go towards my face actually. So thumb is facing in front of me, knuckles facing towards me. Spin it once, reinforce it, and then let it go. Perfect. Now I'm gonna let this one go, move to the other side. So starting in the front again, smoothing out that root section. This one's going away from my face. I'm gonna do a little one away from my face. Then I'm gonna do this next one towards my face. really focusing on smoothing out the root in this last top section because that's where it's going to be really noticeable if I have curly roots and then wavy ends it's just not going to look very good so I want to make sure I'm smoothing that out as much as I can. If you guys are using bigger sections you'll probably need to go slower with the flat iron because the heat needs time to get through that thick section so go a little bit slower take your time and if you're using smaller sections go faster because you don't want to stop and burn your hair that's just not gonna be good so just keep in mind that the speed you're pulling that flat iron down is gonna make a difference depending on how thick your section is. So now this is my last section. Let's see, what do we wanna do here? I think I'm just gonna do somewhat of a diagonal section. I'm gonna leave that front one bigger. This one's a bit smaller. It's kind of an awkward shape too, but that is all right. Smooth out that root. And then Curling it away from my face. This last section, this is the bangs and I'm going to also curl that one away from my face. The bangs you sometimes have to play with can be tricky to get them to sit how you like. But okay, that looks good. I don't know what this piece is doing. Okay, so now you can let it sit a little bit longer if you like, but for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna go straight into it. So now what we wanna do, what I'm gonna do now is basically just rough this all up and I might even just brush through it with this to break up these curls. What I'm gonna do first is actually take some argan oil. I'm gonna put a little bit of that in my hands. 
That's just gonna help to add shine and seal in my hair. And then I'm just running it through. So at this point, I'm not worrying too much about ruining the curls because they are gonna set themselves. And I also want it to be looser than it is right now. Got that oil in there. I've sort of roughed them up with my fingers. And now I'm going in, this is just my wet brush. Just gonna use that to brush through and really soften out those curls. So this is obviously making the look a lot more soft and giving me more of that loose curl. So if you want it to be a little bit more curly, you can leave it how it is when you, um, right when you finish curling. So it's all up to you and how you want it to look, what vibe you're going for. So now I'm just gonna play around and just move pieces around until I like how it's sitting. I can recurl pieces if I want to. Something's not sitting quite right. You can also add in like some teasing at the top if you like. I think I'm gonna do this little tuck. Seems to be working. Okay, this is pretty much the finished look. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you try it yourself. I'll show you at the back. I can't see how the back looks though. So. <laughs> Yeah, that's it guys. I really hope you guys liked this video. Um, if you did, please leave it a like and leave me a comment as well. Let me know what you thought of it. And also please subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And again, thank you so much to those of you who are subscribed and those of you that have been supporting my channel so much already. Thank you. I appreciate you so much. And I'm so excited to just keep growing and keep making videos for you guys. But yeah, I will stop rambling. This video is 40 minutes long apparently. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!